When you have a mental illness and you have an awful encounter with the police, especially when you've been tasered or handcuffed or put in jail, um, and then you start thinking clearly, you're terribly ashamed because you're not a criminal and you don't want people to think of you as being a criminal. You know, my son had done nothing wrong before this incident. And in his case, he had broken into house to take a bubble bath. Luckily, no one was there. And he was so shameful that he went back to the police and he said, look, I'm not that person. I'm not the psychotic person who you hauled down the stairs kicking and screaming. I'm not the person you tasered. I'm not the person who got thrown in the back of a police car and transported and, you know, was yelling and screaming. I'm not the person who you, you hogtied on the floor when I was talking gibberish about how God had me on a special mission. I was sick, okay? Uh, and I want you to know that I'm a good person. And the fact that he had to go back and do that, I mean, I can't imagine going to a doctor and saying, look, I'm really, really sorry I had a heart attack, you know, or I'm really, really sorry that I, I have bad eyes and I have to wear contacts or, you know, I mean, this is an illness. And yet we put people in positions where they're deeply ashamed. And of course, that contributes to the stigma of, I don't want to admit this. And we do it. You know, I mean, our whole society does it uh, in the advertising and how we portray people, you know, going back to the days of psycho and on and people to make fun of. And, and you know, it's interesting why we're scared of people who are psychotic on our streets, but there's something else going on there. And that is, if you really believe that that person who's homeless on the street, who's ranting and raving is there because they're sick, that means you should do something about it. You will never see anyone with Down syndrome who's homeless on the street. And when someone with Alzheimer's is wandering the streets, we get alarm and set out bulletins. But every day we walk by people who are sick because of schizophrenia and they're, they're on the street and we don't do anything about it because we want to blame them. Because if we blame them and say, oh, they love looking outside or they love, love, uh, uh, they must choose to be psychotic. It does two things. It relieves us of having to do anything, but it also puts blame on them. They chose this. They deserve it. They, they need to be punished.